Good day everyone! We are now going to discuss about Jerome Bruner's Theory of Learning. Who is Jerome Bruner? He is an American psychologist and educator who developed theories on perception, learning, memory, and other aspects of cognition in young children that had a strong influence on the American educational system and helped launch the field of cognitive psychology. He was born on 1915 and died on 2016. Jerome Bruner came up with his learning theory focused on the problem of what people do with information to achieve generalized insights or understanding. He sees learning as cognitive process that involves three simultaneous processes, acquisition, transformation, and evaluation. Acquisition is the process of finding new information that can either replace or refine something previously known. Transformation is the manipulation of information to fit new situations. Evaluation is checking whether or not the learned material has been manipulated appropriately. He called his view of learning instrumental conceptualism. Knowing process is the central to this view. The acquisition of knowledge, whatever its form, is a dynamic interactive process. A learner is a purposive participant in the knowledge-getting process who selects, structures, retains, and transforms information. Bruner believed that mental process like perception, concept attainment, and reasoning depends upon an imaginative process of construction. According to him, learning at its best is thinking. Thinking is a process whereby one makes sense of a hodgepodge of perceived facts through a process called either conceptualization or categorization. He points out that if the learner is to use information effectively, it must be translated into his terms. It means that the teacher must strive to see a problem as the learner sees it and provide information that is consistent with the learner's perspective. His theory points out four significant concerns applicable to any learning situation. These are understanding of basic relationships of the structure of a subject matter, readiness, development of the independent learner, motivation. Understanding of basic relationships in the structure of a subject matter. This includes understanding relationships and relating knowledge structures to one another which will allow the learner to remember the material better and transfer this knowledge to new learning conditions. Readiness According to Bruner, there is no need to defer instruction in certain subjects until the child has reached appropriate maturational level for it. He said that subject matter can be matched with the cognitive level of the child. It means that any idea or problem or body of knowledge can be presented in form simple enough so that any particular learner can understand it in distinguishable form. Development of the Independent Learner According to Bruner, instruction must have its object to help the learner to be a self-sufficient problem solver. It means that the learner must be permanently dependent on the teacher's correction of his errors, but must be able to take over the corrective function. This behavior is the goal of cognitive learning, such that the learner becomes an adequate evaluator of his own learning. Motivation. He believed that intrinsic motivation means creating a desire to learn a subject because it is worth knowing 
while extrinsic motivation comes in the form of reward and punishment. Now, here are the references from Psychological, Anthropological, and Sociological Foundations of Education by Bustos Alicia and Socorro C. Espiritu and www.britannica.com slash biography slash Jerome Bruner now here are the photos, the references of this video. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Subscribe for more content.